Hey boys and girls, welcome back to another Kitten Garden series. Today we're going to install Chia on Ubuntu. So the first thing we're going to do is step one, go to Chia.net. Then from here, you're going to navigate to install Chia blockchain. This is going to redirect you to the github.com website. You're going to select the OS of choice. And here we're using Ubuntu. There's a set of instructions that you're going to follow and you are going to step two, launch your terminal window. To make it really easy on yourself, you're just going to copy all these commands opposed to typing it out. Copy, paste, enter in your pseudo password and let that run. Once that one is done, you would go to the second line. Now we're going to install the pseudo app. Here we're going to install the Chia application. You just have to make sure this change directory Chia blockchain was not part of that command. You can actually type it in after it installs and go into that directory. Once you're in here, we'll copy the next command. We'll install.sh, copy and paste. Once that completes, we'll run the activate command, copy that and paste. Now we're going to install the GUI. Now, we're installing the GUI, but we can choose to use it or not use it. But for the sake of this video, we will be doing both in the GUI and we will also set a plot in the command line. All right, so once that completes, we need to head into the directory of the Chia blockchain GUI. So we're gonna do this. I already had copied it. We're actually in the GUI directory right now. So we need to run the npm run elect Tron space. I typed that out this time. Okay, so let's let the application start up. And the next thing that we're going to have to do is create a new private key. This is your private key. And of course, this is a key that I will never use. But if you do get lucky and one day decide to actually launch this and I have a couple of Chia coins in there, congratulations. We can continue on into the application right now. So once you get to this point, what you want to do is copy these words, save it because this will be your access into your current wallet. Without this key, it will make it very, very difficult for you to retrace it back and get access to this wallet. So once you have that finished and copied and stored away safely, you will hit next. Now this will be your phone note. This wallet will sync, everything else here will sync. You can choose to do your plots within the GUI or do your plots in the command line. We will show both ways. We'll let that do its thing. We'll go into plots. We'll add a plot. Now this is only for demonstration purposes. I do not have any external drives or any temp directory drives that are available currently for this machine. I will leave everything as default. I will choose the destination drive. I will choose home and hit OK. And I'll also choose the destination. I'll choose home as well. Harvester home and hit OK. So you can see I have both of them going to the same location. But what you ultimately want to do is make sure that you have a temp drive directory that's able to accommodate the plots that you're running and a final destination drive that has an adequate space for you to store your plots once they're done. And you can create plot now. You can see the status of it by the view log and it's starting this first phase. It will utilize whatever resources that it was allocated. Here you can see that it was two threads, 3390 megabytes of RAM, plot size is 32k. Now we're just gonna stop this because there's no reason for me to run that. What I want to do now is show you in the command line the same process. So here I found this great article that I will link in the description below. It's a step-by-step -step to pretty much how to run in the command line in Ubuntu. So we're gonna open up the terminal window, bring that over, and we're gonna scroll down. Since we already have Chia installed on this, we do not need to do this again. So the first thing we want to do is go into the directory, go into the CD Chia blockchain directory. Once we're in there, we want to activate first. So let's do that. Okay, so we activate Chia init. So that did initialize. Now, if you plan to run this as a full node, you type in Chia start farmer and it's starting the daemon now. Next thing we want to do is make sure that we can create a plot. And here you can see that all the triggers that we can use. We can keep it default right now. We can always go back and reference the command line reference on what triggers to change, thread size, memory, 
location of the temp and location of the destination. So we're just going to copy this right now. Copy. And of course, you would need to make changes according to what your current setup is. Let me just get rid of that because it did not copy correctly. So you see here where the D is. D is your destination folder and it tells you right here. And T is your temp directory. As you recall, my destination and my temp, let's expand this so we have a better view. So my temp directory was, I can open up my folder destination. It was in the home. You can see I just populated it within the home directory. So we can say slash home. And then the directory was also slash home. Oh, it didn't like that. So if I had to do slash home harvester, because there is no home directory direct, direct directory so I would type in home harvester let's see if that works and there you have it you can see that the plotting has initialized it's going into the first phase and that's how you would do your command line plotting the farmer is running on this the key is already imported into the application on this operating system and once the plot finishes it can go out and do its thing so that concludes our basic of installing and running our operating system ubuntu to configure it with gui and command line interface on how to set up and run a plot i have a bunch of other videos on my channel that can definitely help you and assist you with any questions you may have if not you can feel free to reach me on reddit instagram or email me and you can find it on my youtube page i I want to thank you guys for being here and I appreciate it. Just remember, if you enjoy this content, please like, comment, and subscribe. And see you guys again soon. Bye.